Hello everybody, welcome to Friday, and uh, normally it would be the Mech Warrior Lunch Bunch, but today we've got something a bit special, because last night I finally got access to Star Citizen 3.0 Alpha on the PTU. One of the first things that you notice about it, as you load it up, is that you've actually got people moving around on the background screen as you load it up and it looks rather spiffing doesn't it and it sets the the tone for the whole um, purpose of Alpha 3.0 which is planetary landings and bases outposts as they're more generally being called so where are we going to start with this well, maybe we should go have a look in the hangar, see what we've got. Or maybe you just want me to get straight out in the, the universe. Um, I'm happy either way, I don't really care. I'm just happy that I've got it, finally. But starting to see some progress on it. Now, I must warn you that this is a test server account. That means there's going to be a lot of bugs, there's going to be a lot of glitches, and very probably quite a few um, server crashes and restarts as well. Now just bear with me while I just mute this music down a bit because it's driving me a bit doolally. There we are. That's a bit better. So... Yeah, it's a bit quieter. Shouldn't affect the volume that you hear it at, which is what the streaming software is tuned for. But I had um, I turned it up um, deliberately the balance for that, and then got to reset my headphones. And unfortunately, these ones don't have a thumb wheel on the um, on the cord. Let's dive out into the spaceport. We'll have a look at the hangar later. One of the things that um, I've noticed about this is that it does take quite a while to load the game, a lot longer than 2.6.3 did, um, and we also don't have a holding screen as it's loading in, but that's fine, you know, it, it's, um, it's, I suppose if we were to number it, this would be 3.0.3. Three zero or three one. So the Evercarty had twenty six iterations of three point zero, and there's been at least two updates, if not three, in the last ten hours. So here we are. We're in the um, the hub unit. This will be all very familiar to many people, but as soon as you look at the door, you can see that some things have changed. I mean, you know, you've still got the loo roll, um, but to open the door, you now have to press F to get your activation button come up. That's the little white circle, and then you notice there it says close. But here it says open. You click on that, and then off we go. Now the first thing you notice, people walking around at different paces now. I can meander around at the same sort of speed as him. 
we just use the um, the mouse wheel to change the pace. Or we can sprint away like we always used to. We've got some spiffy new screens. It's not just the what's on the screens, but if you look at the, the racks that uh, or the whatever they are that hold them up. So to use the screen, press F. Bring your mouse button down onto it, and we've been given lots and lots of ships to play with and test in 3.0 because they've all been changed around a bit. So, most of the stuff that's out there deals with cargo on the missions. So, I think a good one to get started with is going to be one that we can walk onto with cargo. I'd love to take the constellations out, but I need to practice flying something that big. Um, take the freelancer, but I think most people will want to have good look. Oh, come on. Jumpy as hell. At the Cutlass Black. This station has been designated as an armistice zone. Tampering with weapon safety protocols is strictly forbidden. Pad 8. Which is over this way. For your convenience, our automated ship organization system handles storage of all vehicles. To access your craft, consult one of the terminals. See how the panel with the cycle button starts to glow a bit yellow. Well, the frame rate has just gone through the floor. I don't know what that message is that keeps trying to flash up. Currently depressurized. I wonder if some. Oh, what's this? We've got a glitch. That looks like this will be a case of lag. Hmm. Interesting. about with these. Well, that one's not going to work. Let's go up to the other one. Let's see if we can get out that way. Well, that's just double as depth, isn't it? Oh no, there's an airlock out here. That's right. That one's working normally. Maybe. So it should open for us. Hmm. Wow. 
that one's not going to open either. That's pressurized. Okay. Pressurized. Okay. So we'll have to wait for it to cycle. We've lost the mouse cursor as well. Hmm. I wonder if this one's still jammed up. Yeah. Okay, in that case, we'll probably have to reload the game. Um, that's not a very good start, is it? I was playing a little bit earlier, and I didn't see that at all. So uh, the airlocks were working perfectly. So we'll see if we can get a different server. This time the door's properly shut, so hopefully we'll um, we'll not get that glitch. Well, he's running around. He had the same idea as me. Hey. See, it does work. And, well, oh, come on. Hit the right key. She is, she is huge. I, you probably don't get it on screen, but, um, I don't know, can I, I mean, just, look, you know, 
I can actually stand under there. Look, look at all that space above my head. Oh, come on, stop ducking. You don't need to duck. Look at all that. Stop the ducking. You know, I can even walk underneath that bit of it. She is massive compared to the old cutlass. You know, just I can walk under under the guns on the front wings. And I can even walk straight under the nose with all that headroom. These, I think, are supposed to be the tractor beams. Tractor module, yeah, there we go. Somehow these are the tractor beams. Um, okay, they're a bit different to the ones in um, Star Wars, aren't they? You know, and I mean, just the engine module up there looks like a little ship in its own right. That's a glitch on the doors, by the way. You'll see when we go inside that that door will be shut. Right, look at the size of those landing feet. Get out of the way so it doesn't crush my toes. And one of the first things I'm going to do is close the ship. Put my torch on. Now, you see, the door is shut. Air conditioning units up there. That's what I meant to look at. What are these? That's just access and storage. Some sort of power supply to the storage area. Component housing. I don't know if we can actually access that, can we? No, it's not active. This is all part of your engineering stuff. the back panels to the turret elevator. Some sort of cooler, I think. Does it say up there? Can you see it? Don't read it. But once full engineering and repairs come in, then that'll be part of it. That looks like some sort of air filtration system. You see the ducting running around there. Hope we don't get any aliens in that. Um, when you come in here, some storage cabinet, can we use it? No, it's not active yet. More storage. <coughs> I would presume that these are for spare parts for the ship rather than anything else. Um, a couple of lockers. Not operating at the moment. Um, weapon racks. More storage. Yeah, more storage for components. Emergency supplies, probably medi pens or something. Two bunks. The, uh, the top turret sitting up there as it is. That's back to the cargo hold. And then the cockpit. Lots of engineering stuff around here with units to replace. Little screens to interact with. And one of the things that you'll notice is different is when you want to get in the pilot's chair, you, you press F. Come on. There we are. It highlights and you get your little bullseye target thing to put on the chair. Left click the mouse and in you get. Now you're supposed to call um, air traffic control for permission to take off but the comms system is 
non-functional at the moment. Um, to look around the cockpit to switch everything on you press F and then you move your mouse to move your head so down here power on or flight ready all this stuff fires up wait for the usual messaging right, not gonna get it launch complete One of the things that I've found about the new Cutlass is she's slow to spot the thruster even when I take my finger off, off the button she keeps going. Landing gear up. And the carriage up is a double tap. Let's just get away a little bit from all this off. than I was expecting. So let's find a, a mission to go do. And my credits have disappeared rapidly this morning because every time I'm in a position to earn some credits, the server gets reset or the game crashes and then I've got to pay the insurance to bring the ship back, which is starting to piss me off no end, I must admit. Um, Lost in space. Cargo transport needed for refined ore. Nah. Um, one, one way we've got to go to a planet. I suppose we could go and get rid of that scrap, but it pays peanuts. Um, Tell you what we'll do, we'll just Right. To fly anywhere now, instead of pressing B to bring all the waypoints up on screen, you bring up your Moby Glass, you go down to this one in the bottom corner down here, look. This one, which is your star map. And there's Crusader with its various satellites and stuff. And we've got Challen or Salen over here, which is obstructed currently by Crusader. So we'd have to go via the Cry Astro. We could zoom straight out to Yella, or we'll go out to Daymar. Daymar's um, a bit closer, so it's going to use less fuel. Let's go do that one. You click on Daymar, and then you come back down and set it as the destination, and the joining line changes. Close the, the Moby Glass. That's actually closing first time this time. Great. I've had an issue this morning where it's taken three or four attempts to get the Moby Glass to, to close. Come on, up, up a bit. Now once you're pointing at um, your nav point, you just press B. Quantum drive is now on. And a second or so later, it starts firing up. And you notice how your speed ramps up before you go into quantum. If you get to the other end, beware, because it takes a while to get out of quantum. Got to decelerate Quantum down to normal speed. Okay. Um. I don't really read those. They're on the sunny side of the planet, so let's just jump across to orbital. Mark F3. Quantum drive is now on. 
exactly the same process. Point at it. Press and hold B. Quantum drive is now off. We're now on the sunny side of the planet. There's a Shuban mining facility up there, which we really should go pay a visit to. 402 kilometers. Might be a bit far around the planet. That's 686. So that'll put us closer to it than where we are now. Let's just jump Quantum across to that one. On. Quantum drive is now off. I'm going to the emergency shelters, but really not that much there. If we go to that Shuban mining one there, um, it's probably just over the zenith of the planet. So, what I'm going to do, come on, <laughs> lag here, that's why the ship's jumping and, and it's jumping and skipping. So, I'm just going to aim a little bit above the planet. I keep on line with shooting. shooting. There we go. Never mind. It's not quite. And are you ready for the um, the thrust? Afterburner button, the shift key, and you, as long as you don't change your heading, you're just continuing along at that speed. What we'll do is, when we get the, the range to Shuban down for about 100 miles, 100 kilometers, then we'll start dropping some speed and descend down to the surface. One of the things that might not come up over very well on the stream uh, because of the reprocessing is the lighting effects. They are absolutely stunning. You've got to see them on your own screen to appreciate them. is not running at full power there. See, it says one of them's at 100 and one of them's at 97. No idea why it does that, but it's been doing it uh, all morning. Cruising like this is where your fuel scoops, your hydrogen scoops, refill your hydrogen tanks for using your thrusters and afterburners. So it's always worth doing a bit of this everywhere you go until such time as you've got uh, effectively unlimited funds. One of the things that I'm not keen on at the moment is if you look here, you can see the target marker for where we're going to is drifting down 
across the cockpit. It ends up on the radar and sometimes you think it's actually another ship. So, just make sure I put the mouse back where it came from. It's going to down to just under 120 kilometers to go. And all I'm going to do when we hit 100 kilometers disappeared off screen because I'm just going to tap the S key. That will just automatically bring the speed down to somewhere just under maximum CF speed. Yeah, see. The ship will do 220 the maximum SCM. It's brought us down to 201. So now we want to line up on Schubin. kind of hard to see how many miles we've got to go because of the colour of the planet, but we'll do our best. Um, we'll try and get it aligned as centrally to it as we can. There we go, that might do. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to thrust, go in and max thrust. See, as you go into atmosphere, you get the on the left side of the um, the HUD, you get the max safe speed at your current altitude above ground. Because of the colour of the planet and the sun shining off it, it's kind of hard to read it. It really doesn't get much better, to be honest with you. 30 kilometers out from Schubert. Bring the nose up a bit. Take that speed off. Coming down to 4,000 meters on ground level. So let's just drop down to regular speed. Today is the first day I've been flying a couple, so I'm not fully used to how she handles. Bring her in slowly, slow her down a little more. Not that much. I'll do nicely. Altitude. So I'm just going to 
strafe down a little bit. Stop her in her tracks. Landing complete. Sometimes, because of the bouncy undercarriage now, it feels as if you've bounced back up off the surface. So the first thing we want to do is get the engines off. Not the power, the engines. There we are. Engines off. Engines offline. And that will stop her trying to lift off again on her own, because without engines she can't lift off. And we could in fact power her off, but that will give us issues with the doors. So to get out of the pilot's seat is a whole new process now. Press the F key, roll your mouse right over to the right, and you see the word exit come up to your right. You click on that, and out you get. And then you can exit the ship. Somewhere there's a thing to shut the door. Is that thing on the side there? No. Come on, how do we shut the door? Or does it shut automatically? I don't think it does sh shut automatically. I don't see a button for the door. Unless it's under there somewhere. Might be it under there, isn't it? No, that's a light. Let's just try clicking on the door. No. Ah, bummer. So there's a drawback to the cutlass. It's good. See that glitch? Has opened the side door again. You notice the ramp's not fully on the ground. There that we can interact with. No. Okay. The chances of anybody turning up here are pretty damn slim. Um, what we can do, oh, we can have a look at the Moby Glass if there's a new mission jumped up for here, it might make us a bit of money. Shipment transport, what's that one? Starfarer transport was attacked and destroyed en route to the Shuban outpost on Daymar. Local authorities have been notified but the client still requires delivery of that package, so we need someone to extract a particular box from the wreckage and complete the intended delivery to the Shuban outpost on Daymar. When approaching the site, stay alert. Outlaws have been known to operate in that area. I think we'll take that one. <coughs> and also, there's this cargo transport needed refined ore. Benson Mining has a shipment of refined ore that it needs picked up from their outpost on Yella and delivered to Arc Corp's Yella facility. Well, we'll leave that one open for now. We'll come back to that one later. So. That's pretty much what we wanted. Okay, post in chat. Do you want to have a look at the outposts before we go find this wrecked Starfarer? Or do you want to go straight to the Starfarer? No response? Okay. Let's go straight to the Starfarer, because we're going to have to bring the cargo back here. We can look at the... We can have a look at the... Hello. Here we go. Here's the issue, look. Alright. I can't move. And 
and every time this happens I've got to pay insurance on the damn shit and that's why I'm running out of credits no, I can't do a damn thing well, we'll just wait for a minute and see if it frees itself up I can't move my feet. Can't jump in the air. Can't crouch down. I wonder if I can sleep. It's not letting me use chat. So the server's probably about to do a reset. And that means that it'll be an hour and 17 minutes before I can use the cutlass again. Hold B, you say. I'm holding B. Oh no, quantum jump. Oh, he's talking to somebody else in chat. <laughs> F. Can I do anything with F? No, I can't see anything. I can hear footsteps as if I'm running around. This will be why, when we go through Olasara, you see people just standing there looking around. It's because they've had their feet glued. And we can't do anything about it. Oh, come on. There's a dirty great sandstorm coming in as well. So pretty soon we won't be able to see the other side of the landing pad. Can't do anything. Um, So the only option I've got here now, because I can't even use chat, can't enter anything in chat, uh, the only option I've got here now is I can't even suicide, if I tried to suicide it doesn't work. The um, only thing I can do is escape the game and hope I'm here at Schubert, but it tries to respawn me here, but I don't think there's visitor accommodation. I don't see anything that looks like visitor accommodation. They look like all mining employee buildings. Let's just 
try and alt tab out and then come back in. And Rufo's lost his animation. Come on. What's going on? What does Task Manager tell me? Wow. Star Citizen is using 5 gigabyte of memory. Have to start dropping some of these secondary applications. Um, Problem is, I've got so much stuff running in the background because of the streaming that it's going to take me a wee while to get bits and pieces sorted out, free up some memory. Um, yeah, there's not much else I can knock out. I'd love to know why three instances of Cortana are running when I've disabled Cortana. Um, okay. Come on. Right, we've lost the lost the face rig animation of Rufo. My little th oh, he's back! Ray, yay, got him back. Um, right, let's see if that's unlocked. Star Citizen, can I now move? No. is an absolute nonsense. Oh, long time since my belly was that flat. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to... What's up there? That's the other outposts. Have to crash the game out because they've obviously done something to the servers. Some interesting cloud effects going on up there. They look a bit like the Dementors out of Harry Potter. Um, ah, bugger it. Okay, gonna have to crash the game out. And, um, restart it.
let us do an escape to menu. Do that. And now it has truly crashed. Oh no, here we go. So what I think I'll do there is I'll I'll do a quick get quit game and restart. And I'll restart the game launcher as well. Oh, it's asking me to verify the files. And here we go, 60 meg download. I've obviously done something. Right, okay. So just bear with me a second guys, I'll get it uh, get it reloaded and we'll get back in. But I'm going to have to st restart that mission from scratch if it's available on the board. And I think the way that we'll do it this time is we won't actually land at Shubin. We'll just hover above it, take the mission and then go straight off to the Starfarer. Problem is, I'm not going to have the cutlass, and it's going to be kind of awkward finding another ship that I'm going to be able to lift the cargo out of, and especially if there's going to be pirates waiting for me at the start of an error. I'm going to need something that's a good fighter that I can lift a box into. Um, suppose we can try and take the, uh, the Vanguard, see if it will let us take that. Even though it will mean the cargo rattling around loose in the back end. What do you guys think? You think the Vanguard will do well against pirates? Got plenty of missiles on it. Just spam missiles at the buggers.
Come on, open the door. Thank you. Saver, no use for cargo. Hornet seven can't can't lift a box up into the Hornet. Same problem as with the um, Auroras, you can't lift a box up into them. Uh, there's the Cutlass Black. Oh, come on. See, can't retrieve the Cutlass Black because we left it behind on that other planet, so we've got to put a claim in for it. File a claim. One hour and 19 minutes. Take the freelancer, but I don't know how to fight with the freelancer. Um, A reminder that vehicles left unattended on launch platforms will be returned to storage. Vanguard or the Andromeda. Um, Please be considerate and avoid obstructing airlocks. Let's you. try it with the Vanguard. At least we, I know we can put a, a single storage box in the back of that. Try and find somewhere to lock it down. This station is a proud member of the ship share program. Your ship has been delivered to the following landing pad. Tell me where. Hmm. Failed to retrieve the vehicle. Claim the ward. Oh, it's on, it's on five. Jogging. I know you're all keep fit fanatics. Wow, the frame rate is through the floor. Looks like that one's glitched as well. It's not shut properly. Oh, there we go. That's better. Severe lack of frames. Oh, 
Molossar's rings are turning. That looks like my vanguard over there, is it? See the ident on it. Number five, it must be mine. What was that message? say there's somebody in that pilot seat. The instruments are on. There is somebody in there. How did they get in there? The ship's supposed to be locked. Now we can't get the ship back, can we? How did he kill me when I'd already put three five into him? even though it was my ship. Damn griefers. 
he should not have been able to get into it. Come on, game. Reload. And it looks like the game's crashed again. Come on. It's definitely crashed. <sighs> and I can't shut the window, so I'm going to have to do it through Task Manager. Now what's going on? Wow, it's taken forever to let go of memory. Looks like they've done yet another server update. It's asking to verify files and bring them down a 60 meg patch again. See if I got a crime stat for that.
Come on, load up. Uh, oh, I am clipping through the bed a bit. the Moby Glass glitch. And the third time? No. Okay. No, come on. problem. For your convenience, our automated ship organization system handles storage of the ship that can handle itself in a fight but can carry cargo. Cutlass black. Coordinate this, my cutlass black is on the pad. Which pad? This station has been designated as an armistice zone. Tampering with weapon safety <laughs> is strictly forbidden. One must freelancers in an unknown location. Space may be lonely, but you don't have to. Save on resources and expenses. Join the ship share program today and fly together. Advise again, please use caution on exiting the armistice zone as weapons will once again become active. Oh, I've got a second cutlass black. Let's retrieve that. Please be considerate and avoid obstructing air. Your ship has been delivered to the following landing pad. So it looks like the outer doors are... Is it 
values over there. <laughs> People are even spawning dragonfly dragonflies out of desperation. Well, there's a couple of black up there. That's not number five, is it? It's Gladius Valiant. Nice looking ship. There's a dragonfly. Pad number seven. Is that what he said it was on? Pad seven. I think it was, wasn't it? Certainly it's tagging it as mine. the door lock panel. the seat either. Tell you to land it. Uh, where's the door locks? Okay. Launch complete. Whoa, shit. Dodgy launch. Dodgy launch. That's 
the Gladius. Right, Daymar we wanted, wasn't it? That's the one we just jumped to. That's 689 away. So it's, it's less than double the distance. However, I think I would rather come in this way. All the way up to 1100, that's it. Uh, let's just check the Mulder glass again. See if there's any missions on the go. That Starfarer one would be a good one. Delivery, delivery opportunity for medicines. Lab on Challenge and drop off his Levski. Buggered. Come to the wrong planet. Okay, but we'll accept that one. That's the only one we've got going at the minute. Now, what we could do with is something from Daymar to Challenge. Benson Mining is is Benson Mining on Daymar.
tyres were not here. Okay. Oh, a great look. Challenge obstructed. Shelling, we'll go via Cryastro. So we need the mobile glass up. We can't jump straight to the pickup site, we've got to jump to Challen. Set this destination. Close the mobile glass. Last. Stop it. Nose of the ship on there. Come on. Quantum drive is now on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Search. Can't see how far away. Oh, come on, stop that nudging around. Looks like five four four ish. So it's on the other side of the planet. says it's 400 and something away. It's crazy. Oh, it's 600 away. Okay, let's jump to that one. Quantum drive is now on. Quantum drive is now off.
landing gear down. Landing complete. Engine on. Engines offline. Give it a few seconds to settle then, access. Swear, but I heard noises. Come on, get your gun out. What do you mean you got no gun? Okay, you haven't either. escape thing up here still. Uh, there used to be a pilot's door up here on the old cutlass. Don't know if there still is. I 
don't have open and closures for that either. Which means I'm trapped on my own ship. Hmm. Interesting. Activity price holders missing. What do we do? Well, I know what we could try. This will work or not. We get into bed and log out, log back in. Maybe the bits that are missing from the ship will be here when we log back in. Light out.
Where is it? I'm going to have to crash the game. I wonder if that's going to spoil the save. And another 65 megabyte verification on the files.
I need to put us back to Wallace or by the look of it. Surely. Hey. Oh, come on, guys. Um. Some sort of ghost avatar of mine, that's a different player entirely. Vanguard's available in here again. For your convenience, our automated ship organization system handles storage of all vehicles. To access your craft, consult one of the terminals located at the station. Back down to one cutlass. Space may be low, so we're going to have to time for it. Save on resources and expenses. Join the ship share program today and fly together. Before we can get that, I kindly ask that guests take the pair off as soon as it is safe to do so. Hum. <sighs> we advise guests please use caution on exiting the armistice zone as weapons will once again become active.
Oh boy. Working either. Crusader Industries would like to welcome you to Port Elizabeth. Enjoy your stay. Crusader Industries is it's not clear in itself. Looks like this instance of the PU's ball on the PTU. take a lot of damage here. <laughs> Ouch. Yes, we did. So, what was the command for medipens? Uh, broken legs. Terrific. Uh, 
of advanced media. Self-heal V. We don't have any mini pens. We don't have any money to buy them either. So I have to hope there's some in the ship. You just want me to get underneath you so you can hit me on the head, don't you? the activation point for this bloody door. I told you you just wanted to hit me on the head. screens are off. Oh, come on. Do what? Get him forced into a position that gets him out of this. Whatever's happened here. So, of course, he goes sideways across the corridor instead of lengthways along it. Bloody Nora. Pirate. 
Spanish pilot. space of the uh, the hull. Why am I stuck there though? That's the question. Is it because of the leg injuries? That looks like I'm out. Seats ready. Right. Flight ready. Come on, flight ready. There we are. Complete. Landing gear retracted. Transport material samples. Cuda ores is from a refinery on Challen and delivered to Delamar. Sounds good to me. Travel initiated. Yes. 
this again. Set transit to Chelen. Set destinations. Back. Close. They held steady that time, didn't they? Bottom travel initiated.
See how far out we are, but they don't have a bloody pickup site thing on top of it. Arguably, that's 12 kilometers, which is still a fair old height. Well, I'm not taking any, oh, excuse me, I'm not taking any unnecessary risks. I want to get one of these missions complete. Now, the server killing me off rather forcing me to kill myself. There's a fleet of Ursus down there, it's not, it's rocks. <laughs> God, shows you how tired I am. Another night with zero sleep last night. Where's the outpost? Too far. Oh, God's sake, lag sorted out. Stop. Here is Tammet. We're still a fair way out.
Landing complete. Launch complete. Landing complete. Launch complete. Landing complete. Launch complete. Landing complete. Landing complete. Landing complete. Launch complete. Landing complete. Landing complete. Launch complete. Launch complete. Landing complete. Stop. Stop. the target output. There's the target outpost. Almost tempted to just torpedo the bloody thing. Go on. Get round to the left. She just she just won't move subtly to the left. Probably got damage now. Landing gear deployed. if she's left half a wing or one of the tail booms over here. So the way she's handling she's an absolute pig. That's a slope. That's fairly flat. God, our acceleration is unbelievable. Let's just get the nose up a little. Right, now just stay put until we turn the engine on. Complete. 
exit the pilot seat if I've got any legs left. Come on. Where's the exit command? Oh, come on. Just because we switched the engines off doesn't mean you can't bug down. There it is. See, you can look over there if you try. Same as they look like beds, you know. They're probably not, but they do look like beds. No. Not, not at this juncture. I've got two escape pods there. Get out. Can't interact with those lockers. Pack anyway. Oh, unless there's one in the shower.
always put it in that corner. And we've just just jammed again. Ah, the game's frozen. <sighs> in fact, the game's crashed. Well, guys, I'm sorry, but I'm going to I'm going to cut the stream there. It's the game is just way too unstable. So, well, thank you for watching. I'll see you later tonight if you're up for it. Um, I'm going to grab myself a few hours Zeds because I've been up the whole night, uh, not had a single minute of sleep, and I need a rest. So I'll catch you later. Have fun.